going on. It wasn't a great game. They just came ready to play. Simple. They just came. They just came out there. They, you know, did they followed their game plan and what they was gonna do, and you know, they were successful. How are you feeling physically after the hit you took late in the game? Well, of course, you know, coming after a game, of course, you're gonna feel a little banged up in certain areas. But um, other than that, there's nothing recovery and everything can't fix. Or how would you kind of grade your play tonight, and how would you describe the, the mood of the team right now? What was the score of the game? That's that's the that's the grade, of course. What about the mood of the team? How would you describe that? I don't think nobody really laughs, you know, or play around whenever they lose, you know. So I think I think everybody we're just gonna get back to the drawing board and watch the film and understand, you know, what we gotta improve at. So how big was the impact of the? On who? On you guys. In terms of your poor performance playing, obviously last year you played at Folsom, who have one of the mm -hmm. loudest and greatest uh, you know, crowd performances out there, versus you're coming here, you're having over 100,000, I believe, fans. Yeah, I don't, really, really I don't really think the crowd had anything. I think it was just like maybe everybody on the team, you know, maybe we just wasn't ready, you know, but – Overall, I don't think the crowd kind of like affected me personally. So, uh, follow up here. How do you think the the loss today is going to impact your performance against CSU? Which obviously, last year you beat Nebraska by a fair amount. CSU was a very tight win. How does this loss today impact your performance going into next week? I uh, really just get back to the drawing board, understand what we're wrong, understand that they're going to try to expose those same things. That happened, so we just get back and try to fix those problems that was going on and be ready for the game. Thank you. Shador, a lot has changed with the offense, right? You got a new scheme, new linemen. Does it feel like you're still dealing with some of the same issues as an offense that you guys dealt with last year at all? I'm not sure. I ain't watched the film yet. But just in general, I mean, does it feel like, you know, it's just a constant pressure in your face? What, what does it look like from your eyes back there? Well, I mean, I could, I could, I could feel like feelings and everything is like temporary, you know. So it's like, and there's a lot of emotions and stuff going into it. So I want to be able to look at everything first before I have a true assessment of like, you know, how I really feel. The last thing you said, maybe you weren't ready. Did you guys? Did you? You didn't feel unprepared heading into this game, right? No. What I'm saying is, okay, you gotta understand. You, you, you get out there and everybody. Um, you prepare, you do everything the right way how you're supposed to, but you got to make sure everybody, you know, is, is on that when the big lights and everything come on and, you know, like the small mistakes and everything may expose some things. So that's kind of, that's, that's what I mean by that. Three more, thank you. But the preparation and everything, you know, that was there. It was just like will at that point. I mean, Nebraska got a great D-line. Um, simply, that's what it was. I don't think, um, I think they did, I think they followed a great game plan and they and they did what they were supposed to do. Ducks. So that was it. Shador, how important do you think it is for this offense to continue to, you know, develop, you know, a running game and continue to be balanced to, you know, try to be more balanced? How do you think that can kind of help, you know, your game and obviously the offense overall? I mean, how many times did Riley get touched? How many times did Riley get touched? They was able, like, points. of course, of course, whenever you're able to run the ball consistently, and whenever you're able to, then that opens up the pass, you know. But it's just like you got to understand, like, what, what what your team good at. So it's like, why would we keep running the ball if okay, we are we out there, and we get in a situation where it's a must get and we don't get it. Right. Are those so, like kind of like fourth and one conversions that haven't gone your guys' way in the last couple? Of No, nah, I'd rather, if, if we're going to go down, I'd rather go down swinging, honestly, because I know I can throw the best punch. Last one, go ahead. With Hicks early on, how much do you think that impacted the rest of the game? 
A lot. It was just, you know, a rookie mistake, honestly. That's what it was. So it, it, it's small things like that that kind of like things that we that just can't happen, you know, like truthfully. But uh, stuff happens, so we just got to bounce back from it and learn from that situation and uh, just be ready for it. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.